When was the last time you felt special? Look around in this audience and see all your faces. And to me, you're all very special. Because you all have a very special story within you. Do you know yours? Did I tell you? You're all you took. At the same time, we all like to be liked. We love to be loved. And it feels good to feel good, isn't it? Do you feel good if you can help someone in need? As a former nurse, I helped over 20 years people to get better, to feel better, and if it was time, I stood beside them when they passed away. And people say, oh, that's a gift. I say, it's a way of life. Staying present with respect for the life story. Just come with me. It's June, a warm evening, in 2001. 11.25 p.m. I'm at the hospice and I just start my night shift. I love the silence of the house and just the smell of the flowers reflects the warmth of this special place. The only sound I can hear are my own footsteps as I move towards the eight bedrooms. I look into her dark, hollow eyes and she said, Will you remember my name when I'm gone? Yes, I will. That was all she asked for. To remember her name, to be remembered. In the dark room in the warm evening in June. I felt special at that time to be part of her life and to make that commitment. Really special. How often do we make commitments? I start to exercise tomorrow. I call you soon, and tomorrow and soon never ends. Are we willing? to make a commitment if there's a sense of urgency? Are we willing to make a commitment even more if there's danger at stake? If you see a child being bullied, are you willing to step up? And if you say, yes, of course I will, will you do that still, that commitment, if things are getting tense? You see, 350,000 children in the Netherlands alone are getting abused right now. Do you know that? Every week a child in the Netherlands dies of fatal abuse. I was shocked when I heard these figures for the first time. In every classroom, two or three kids abuse physically, mentally, or by neglect. Can you picture a kid right now? If I looked honestly of my own childhood, I knew them. The sad ones, the weird ones, the lonely ones, the shy ones. Can you picture kids right now? Together with No Kidding, the foundation that creates awareness around child abuse, I started a project. Sharing stories to change lives. Sharing stories to create awareness. To give these children a voice. And these stories are, cho are told by live witnesses, healthy, strong adults who overcame their past and are willing to make the present children with a voice. You see, these live witnesses are no victims. <coughs> they are not a product of their circumstances, they are a product of their decision. They turn the tide. Recently, a lot of people got a telephone call, teachers, family and friends. I just want you, you to know, I remember your name. You saved my life because you made me feel special when I couldn't feel special at home. You saved my life. You inspired me to go on. Can you imagine what happened to these people getting a call like this? And just remember, you can be the factor of change in a child's life. And I just want you to remember this for tonight. Every day, a new story begins and you can create a new present for a child.